The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is attributing the devastating impact of natural calamities to high levels of graft in the country. The Commission says poor handling of public resources has largely contributed to the floods that have wreaked havoc in the country in the past few weeks. The anti-graft watchdog, meanwhile, says it traced and recovered 6.63 billion shillings worth of proceeds of corruption between 2022 and 2023, plus also recovered illegally acquired assets worth 3.8 billion shillings. Here's Catherine Morage with that report. Speaking during the launch of activities and financial statements for the financial year 2022-2023 at the Integrity Center, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission ESC Chief Executive Officer Twali Mbarak said 61 investigation files on corruption were finalized and recommendations made to relevant authorities for prosecution. Barak also highlighted the concerns over the rate of corruption that they claim is causing natural calamities like floods. These floods have shown us also that corruption has got a price in national, uh, natural calamities. When you look at those bridges that are being washed in counties and uh, the roads that are full of potholes, especially in Nairobi and other urban areas, you will just tell that that was, a that was an element of corruption. The report also indicated a growth in conviction rates on corruption cases in the country. The report further detailed recovered funds and assets. The value of corruptly acquired assets recovered by the commission increased from 3.5 billion shillings in 2018 to 28 billion shillings in 2023. The value of loss of public funds averted through proactive investigations rose from 19.7 billion to 39.2 billion shillings. ESCC is now proposing an amendment of anti-graft legislation to directly utilize financial resources and assets recovered from corrupt practices to expedite its mandate. We would like uh, to see a situation where again the Commission is allowed, for example, to use some of the resources that we uh, recover in order to enhance our budget because we are very limited in our budget uh, and so we are not able to do the work that we are supposed to do to the extent that Kenyans expect of us. The report also listed the most common forms of corruption with 31 of Kenyans engaging in bribery as a form of corruption while 19% of the graft deals involve embezzlement of public resources. Abuse of office closed the top five forms of corruption mainly exploited by Kenyans at 9%. The report showed. Catherine Imuragate, KTN News, Nairobi. The media industry is